In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Ninja Traders Chart Trader. Uh, I know that some of you are very experienced with Ninja Trader, and so this will be a very quick review. In fact, you might have a, a better way to do what I'm going to show you. And so if you do, then use that. But this should at least give you an idea. What I'm hoping is that we'll get a box trade so that I can show you this in action. So what I did is I set up a brand new account just like a new user would, just so that you can see uh, exactly what's on, you know, it should be the same on your screen as it is on my screen. Um, I have uh, a different trading computer I use for my live account, but I'm going to show you how this works on this account and so that you can mirror this. And so what you're going to want to do is go up to here to this icon, which is uh, the chart trader. And when you click on that, this panel will open up to the right of your chart. And so this is where we're going to manage our trade, our, our order entry. Now, there's a really effective thing that I do, um, or a way to use this that I've found uh, very effective. And so that is uh, these, you know, the ATM strategy is what it's labeled. Um, and so you can set up your own ATM strategy. And the way that you do that is by clicking on this little button right here, and this window will pop up. Now, I've already set up a couple. So, but uh, but let, we'll start from scratch. So what you're gonna want to do is click on custom, and we're gonna go. Um, you know, I don't know how many contracts you trade or, or lots. In other words, um, it's totally up to you. But just for example's sake, we're gonna choose six. Okay, and the next thing you want to do is click the the three target. So what we're gonna do is I'll show you a way to set this up to. Um, not automatically scale out, but uh, set up the parameters so that once you're in the trade, you can easily move things around based upon what signals have given you. Okay, so six contracts, uh, we're gonna scale out three different times. So a first profit target, second, and then a final. This will be our runner. So I wanna be front loaded on this. So I wanna take um, three off at the first target, two off at the second, and then this is gonna be my well, what I hope to be a runner. Okay, so when it comes to stop losses, our opinion on stop losses is that they are there to protect capital. Not because, well, on this trade, you know, I'm going to put this in just in case I'm wrong. It has nothing to do with that. In my trading career, I have had three separate situations where my power has gone out. One of the times it worked in my favor, another time, it did not work in my favor, and the third time it didn't matter. Uh, I was I, I was able to get back online and fix the situation. Uh, but the time that it didn't work out, I um, I was up a couple grand prior to my power going out, and by the time I found my broker's phone number, had them clear up my position, which took forever, um, I was up a hundred dollars. So I would, needless to say, I was pretty upset, especially since I was literally getting ready to exit my position prior to the power going out. So that's what it's for. Um, you never know what's going to happen. Plus, the other thing that could happen is the market could go erratic, and you know you want to protect yourself. You know something could happen. You know whether it be a system program going off and throwing the market off, or some crazy announcement comes out. Um, so we're fans of getting in at a three point stop loss initially. We're gonna actually move this every time we get into a trade. And I'll show you how we, how we do that. Hopefully I can show you how we do that because what I'm hoping happens is we get a box trade any second here. Okay, not on the YM. Um, so this is the ES. Uh, profit target one, I'm gonna go three ticks. I'll show you why in a second, hopefully. The second one, I'll just randomly put it at six and the last one, nine. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna manually move these around once we're in a trade. So this is just the, and in fact, actually, we're gonna go. Uh, let's set this to uh, 16 just to get it out of the way. And then this is six. Okay, so um, we're not gonna do this. This is like trailing stop stuff. I, we're gonna, we're gonna manually move our stops around. Okay. So then what you want to do is you want to click OK. And then you come back here and you click on custom, or excuse me, you click on this button again. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to name it. Okay, and, and, and the way that you do that is you just right click, 
you know, just in the in the area here next to this. And you go to manage ATM strategy templates. And so we're going to name this. So this is basically a scale out, so SO3. So that tells me I'm scaling out with three orders. Um, so maybe since we have six, so we're going to scale out with six contracts. You, know, you can name, name it whatever you want. Name it something that when you see it in the drop down menu, you know exactly what it is. Okay, so box SO6. That just means, okay, this is for a box strategy, scale out six. And you can always change your quantity. I'm just, it's just random. Name it whatever you want. Okay, and then you click OK. So then what happens is if we choose SO6, we can check it and boom, it's all the settings are here. Okay, so then what happens is with this up here, this is where we can get in the, out of the market. So on most box trades, uh, well, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but um, you know, if we get a blue arrow, for example, I would click buy market. And if we get a red arrow here, I would have clicked sell market. Okay. And all this stuff, I, my personal opinion is I would not use any of this stuff. Um, what you could do, uh, like if you're going to do an RTM trade, which is the reversion to the mean trade, which didn't happen because we didn't pull back up, but what you can do is you can just hover your mouse over uh, right at the, um, you know, the midpoint, and then just right click. Okay, so right click, and then, you know, this at this point this would be a, a limit, so I'll just go ahead and do that so you can see it. So cell limit 6 1641 it's going to ask you for confirmation you can actually turn this off uh, in in your settings but i say yes so you can see here i've got a cell limit for 6 at 1641 okay so if i like you know if i want to move that down let's say i want one tick lower then i just click it once and then click it wherever i want so you click and lift up and you know up or down whatever and then you just click it where you want okay so this shows you I've got six contracts at a sell limit at a price of 1640.75 if I change my mind all I need to do is click the X and it's gone okay and that's it so when we get a box signal which um, you know hopefully we can get one pretty quick here I'll show you how to move your stops around when you're in the trade okay so i'm i'm actually going to pause this and then um so that you don't have to sit through 20 minutes of watching the market go up and down and then i'll flip it back on as soon as we get a box okay so i went ahead and moved over to the nq uh just for example sake because i want to um, get into this trade here so we got a red arrow just now and I'm selling, nope. <clears throat> Gotta make sure you're just checked. So I'm gonna sell market. Okay, so here's my entry. Now the first thing I wanna do is take my stop loss and put it one tick above the box. Okay, the second thing I wanna do, get my last one away. Um, second exit comes one tick above the green line and your first exit, or at least what I do, is one tick above the blue line. I, in fact, I'm going to go two ticks above that. Um, I got kind of a, well, I got right on the bar closed. But um, so, anyways, th that's what happens when you set that up, set it up that way. Let me get rid of my crosshairs. Is uh, it automatically puts in those uh, profit targets and your stop loss? Okay. So my stop loss is up here one tick above because I'm short. My uh, first exit is with three contracts at 66.75. My fill price is at, looks like 68. And my second exit, which is two contracts, is at, okay, so I just got filled. So that's what happens when it gets filled. It shows you um, how that's broken down. And then my second set is here. So at this point, um, 
what I, what, you know, what you can do, you can do whatever you want. You can take this now and, you know, minimize your risk and, you know, stick it maybe one tick or one tick below, above or below the, the midpoint. And now we are pushing close to the end of the day. We've got about 30 minutes left and I generally don't like to take trades at this time, but it can be all right. So this over here, this shows your your PNL. Uh, right now, I have it set to points. If you click on it, left click, it shows your dollars, uh, and that's that's current. Okay. If you click again, it shows percentage. Okay. So right now, I'm up two points in any remaining contracts, and so again, I've got them here. If you hit uh, those of you that are new to Ninja, if you click Control and then left click and drag your price up. You can look down here. So generally, what I would do, if, you know, if the market was was going, I would put my last target actually way out of the way. Um, probably automatic, just drag it to the uh, purple line is what I normally do. Um, but just for example's sake, I'm just going to leave it there. So if you want to go back to you know um, real time updating screen view, then you just click the F. So for for the uh, sake of time, um, I'm going to put this back here, and so you can do whatever you want to do. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, and I've put my um, my last contract with my other two to exit. And at any time, you know, if you want to pull out of the trade, you can click close, and it will just exit everything out. And so let's see if we can get a push down here to this green line. I'm going to actually move it up just one more tick, just so we can. So these remaining three contracts, I'm up 270. This is a SIM account, by the way. So I just want you to be aware of that, that you know this is not a live account. But this is exactly what would happen. Okay, so boom, there we go. So that's exactly how it works. And I really don't do anything different than what you just saw. Um, you know, if I'm if I'm trying to trail, just in the interest of time, we'll just you know I just want to cut this short. But you know, if I'm trailing, then what I, you know what I would have had is. Um, you know, as it hits every one of these price targets, then what I would do is keep bringing my stop loss down. And so once we get in here, then I'm bringing my stop loss down a tick under usually. It's different every time. And as we keep moving down, you know, I continually move my stop loss down. My profit target, you know, I don't want to get stopped out prematurely because if we're going to have a run, you know, I want to try to take advantage of it. So my profit target is you know it's way out of the way it's way down here somewhere um, you know maybe even by the purple line but what I'm doing with my stop loss is I'm continually dragging it down as we hit these new levels so now we're here we've broken here so now I would have and I'm, I'm already out so I can't do it obviously but I would put my stop loss one tick under the blue line and then if we can make it to this yellow line then I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive you know, maybe put it to 61. And then again, you can exit the trade anytime you want to. You know, this trade 58 to 66, so we're nine points. Oh, now we just hit 10 points from my, yep, right there, 10 points. So this guy went 10 points from my entry. So, but anyway, gives you an idea of how that works, how to use the chart trader. Really simple. Um, and there's really not much more to it than that. And so what you can do if you like you know, something different, if something different works better for you, if you like the external dome, then use that. But a very simple way to get into these trades and manage it while you're in the trade. And you know, just always rem remember, probability is on your side. In other words, the odds are uh, almost always going to be in your favor when it comes to box trades. And so you know you can have the confidence in executing these trades no emotion no fear you know box once again identifies a high probability trading opportunity the arrow shows us the most likely direction in other words the highest probable direction and these profit target levels these identified in the dotted lines it shows us the highest probable price levels that Price will react to so and that's it it's like clockwork do the same thing day in day out nothing ever changes which is what's really nice about these types of trades because since the strategy never changes 
you're repeating the same thing every single time. And so it's just like that saying, I love this one. I heard it the first time when I was 12. And I, th I think a lot of you probably have heard it. It goes, uh, that which we persist in doing becomes easy. Not that the nature of the thing has changed, but that our power to do has increased. And so in other words, the more we repeat something, the better we get at it. And so what's really awesome about these box trades is that every single one is the same. Sure, some will be smaller. This one's quite large. Uh, and then you'll have losers every now and then. But it's the same every single time. So anyways, that's a wrap. That's how uh, to use this. If you have questions on this, just send me an email, support at brickshampointtrain.com, and I'll walk you through it. But it's really easy, really, really easy. Just follow the steps that I laid out here, and you'll be good to go.